In October of 2010, the Conference on Artificial Intelligence and Interactive Digital Entertainment hosted the first annual StarCraft AI competition. Participants were presented with the task of building the best performing agent for head-to-head -head AI matches in a double elimination tournament bracket. The competition was sponsored by Blizzard Entertainment, the developer of StarCraft, as well as the Association for the Advancement of Artificial Intelligence. StarCraft is a real-time strategy game in which an agent is assigned the objective of destroying all opponent forces. To achieve this task, it is necessary to gather resources, construct production and research facilities, produce military forces, and launch tactical assaults against opposing players. Expert-level StarCraft gameplay is notoriously complex, often requiring 300 actions per minute during tactical encounters. In addition to the fast-paced nature of the game, StarCraft presents players with a large strategy space with no dominant strategy. StarCraft is one of the few video games played at a professional level, and expert StarCraft gameplay is often compared to chess grandmaster play due to the depth of complexity. While there has recently been a large amount of interest in applying artificial intelligence methods to real-time strategy games, building an agent capable of expert-level gameplay remains an open research challenge. Playing StarCraft requires simultaneously managing several distinct competencies. These competencies include strategy, production, economy, reconnaissance, and tactics. At the strategic level, StarCraft requires decision-making about long-term technology management and economic expansion. At the resource management level, the agent must consider how much to invest in various forces and technologies. And at the tactical level, effective gameplay requires micromanagement of individual units in small-scale combat scenarios, as well as squad-based tactics such as formations. Building an agent capable of expert-level StarCraft gameplay requires overcoming several challenges. First, an agent must perform decision-making in real-time. If an agent spends too long formulating actions to perform, it will quickly fall behind in economic and military strength. Another challenge is operating in a multi-skill domain, which requires simultaneous action execution across several competencies. And a third challenge is dealing with a fog of war, which hides game state information where the agent's forces are not present. I began publicizing the competition and posted a call for participation in November of 2009. The competition was open to everyone, and the goal is to attract not only universities, but hobbyists and game developers as well. Another goal was to get the gaming community involved in order to broaden the interest in artificial intelligence research. A variety of social media outlets were used to achieve this goal, including Slashdot, Twitter, and YouTube. The first year of the competition had an excellent turnout, with 28 teams submitting bots for participation. In addition to conventional approaches used for game AI, participants also applied influence maps, potential fields, and neural networks. The competition consisted of four tournaments of varying complexity. In the first and simplest tournament, bots were evaluated in symmetric unit battles on a map with minimal terrain features. The winner was Free SC Bot, which was submitted by Epita University of France. The agent used a hybrid approach with finite state machines and multi unit collaboration to effectively target enemy units. Free SC Bot also won the second tournament, which scaled up complexity by adding interesting terrain features, including ramps and high ground to the maps. In StarCraft, units holding high ground have a tactical advantage, and Free SC Bot was able to exploit this advantage to defeat opponents. The third tournament introduced additional gameplay elements including base building, resource collection, and unit production. However, the unit and technology options available to agents were constrained to reduce the complexity of the game. The tournament used a single, relatively simple map with a fog of war removed. The winner was MimicBot, which was submitted by Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. The bot mirrored the opponent's strategy and gained an advantage by harassing worker units and strategically holding high ground. The final tournament evaluated bots in complete gameplay emulating a professional gaming format. The tournament placed no constraints on gameplay and allowed participants to select from any of the three races. The winner of the main tournament was the Overmine agent submitted by UC Berkeley. The agent incorporates a variety of AI techniques for managing different competencies, including potential fields and a novel A-star implementation for avoiding threats. The agent gained an advantage over opponents by exploiting the ability to simultaneously control large numbers of units in micromanagement tasks. This video highlights the agent's ability to use flying units to weaken an opponent's defenses. In addition to the bot versus bot tournaments, several exhibition matches were held. The top to ranked bots were paired against Oriol Vinios, a former professional gamer. Oriol won all of the matches, even when enforcing artificial constraints to give the bots an advantage. The results of the exhibition matches show that despite advances in game AI, there is still a large gap between the skills of bots and expert human players. The competition would not have been possible without the support of Blizzard Entertainment, which provided a content use license for the event and sponsored prizes. Additional acknowledgments include the participants, the Brood War API team, and the StarCraft community. Complete competition details and results are available at the competition website. For anybody interested in participating, the competition is being held again this year at A2011.